want to get right out to NBC6 Education on 6 reporter Ari Odds. They're live in Fort Lauderdale breaking down more on the message the teachers are telling the school board. Ari, tell us more. Well, Roxy, you're about to hear from the teachers union president, some parents, and a student who held a small socially distant demonstration out here this morning as the school board is meeting on the inside. Now, they're still demanding that accommodations be granted to teach from home for teachers who have health concerns, even though the union essentially lost its lawsuit last night. An arbitrator ruled in the school district's favor that the district does have the power to compel teachers to come back to the classroom. But the arbitrator also ruled that principals now have to provide written justification for accommodations they reject. Take a listen. Teachers' rights are human rights! Teachers' rights are human rights! It was a win-win for both, uh, knowing that our teachers can still have more fruitful conversations with their principals, and I did get a couple calls last night that some of their principals understood the arbitrator's uh, award and respected, and a few more teachers were granted some accommodations. So it's a work in progress. I'm very concerned about the health of our teachers and the health of everyone in our school, the school personnel. Um, I'm concerned about the students that are in the school. If we're having too many students come back in and too many teachers come back in, that's not safe for anybody. That's not safe for people within the school, and that's not safe for the community at large. I know that my well-being as a student and my progress as a student depends on the well-being of my teachers. Well, we are tired of the misinformation and the lack of transparency from the school board. And as parents, we have received mixed messages from principals, administrators, the superintendent, the school board, and we want to protect our teachers. Now, the superintendent issued a statement saying that this is a win for students in this district, especially as the district is trying to get more kids to come back to the schoolhouse, especially those who are doing poorly with distance learning. And there have been thousands of those. We've reported extensively about that issue over the past few weeks. So what happens now? Well, these teachers are going to have to make a decision, either come back to school or take a leave of absence or continue to try to reach accommodations with their principals. We're talking about about 1,100 students, our teachers, I mean, in this group that we're discussing right now, more than 600 have been granted accommodations by the district. We're live in Fort Lauderdale. Our Riyadhs are NBC6 News.